Hey guys, what's going on? In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to add the shield skin, which you see right here, to your desktop and make it look really cool. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys through all the steps. Um, one thing I want to say is, if you check the description, all the links are going to be there. So go ahead and look. First link should be Rain Meter, which is this program right here. This allows you to add all these really cool customizations to your desktop and it's very easy to use I'll go over it with you guys so go ahead and just click final release download after you go through the installation let me just take out my rain meter really quick after you go through the installation you're gonna see a little drop down here and what you can do there is right click and you can manage all your rain meter skins and everything so I'll get into that in a bit but right now what you want to do after you have downloaded Rain Meter, is go to the second link in the description, which should be Avengers Shield. It's, it should be called Avengers Shield. So go ahead and open that link and click download. So you're going to save the file, and I just like to drag the file to the desktop because it makes it much easier. Go ahead and double click on it and click install. So now what that's doing is installing this skin to your rain meter. So now you have your skin over here. What you can do if you don't like that background, you can just go to Google. If you want to make it look more futuristic and just type in black grid wallpaper 1080p. And I'm just going to go ahead and maybe choose this one here and set as desktop background. I'll also put that one in the description but that looks much cooler. I like that one better. Um, if you have icons all over like see how I have all these icons back here you can put them all into a folder for instance you could just make one folder with all those icons in it maybe called icons and you could just drag everything to, to this folder if that gets in the way and you can always access everything in that folder but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now just because I wanna actually focus on teaching you guys how to use this right now you can see that these are movable so if you do want to get rid of this one or if you want to lock it in place what you can do is you can right click it and unload skin which will get rid of it you can also right click it and click manage skin and then you can you have your options right here where you can uh, make it draggable, click through, keep it on the screen, snap to edges, which means it'll like snap to the sides of the screen. You can position it um, to the bottom, stop, stay, topmost. This is like if you're searching on the website or something, uh, you don't want it to overlay. You don't want it to overlay your website, so I just like to d keep it on normal. I, I really don't like touching that so another thing you can do is you can always right click on something and click edit skin you can manage things you can manage variables all this really cool stuff in there if you know how to use it right just uh... be careful with this maybe you, you might want to save like a copy and experiment with changing how things look or changing you can change like for instance this is deviant art i can change this to saying a different website if i want I'm just going to leave it right now because I, I really don't want to mess with that. But another thing I want to point out is if you look closely at my screen at the bottom, you can see it's kind of overlapping on my taskbar. So the way you can fix that is you can go to the drop right here, click Manage, go to where it says Avengers, and you will see it says Border. So right now I think 16 or 1680 would do me good. So I'm going to go ahead and load that one instead. See, now, um, actually, now that one, let me see, 1080, there we go, I think that one's better. I just got to move things around a little bit. Now I don't have the thing overlapping at the bottom, so that's fine. So what else you can do is, you can go to all these folders within the Avengers folder, and load stuff, unload stuff, again that's 
you just click the load and unload button or you can right click to unload unload skin and shield tag every all this cool stuff like shutdown I kinda don't want that there because I might accidentally click shutdown so I'm gonna actually get rid of that also if you ever need to completely take the skin away what you can do is you can right click the raindrop and just click exit and bam so if you want to open it again you just go to the rain meter icon and click rain meter and it saves as the last time you used it so it's pretty cool enjoy guys have fun um, if you go back to the website well, it, you can see it shows like all this cool Iron Man stuff uh, this 3d Iron Man like rotation thing is awesome actually I, I, I kinda I'm short on time so I can't really go over that right now but if you just check the description I'll put it all in there and uh, have fun guys peace out